We all know Yusuke Murata is One Punch Man's manga artist. He has not only legendary line art, but he just knows how to create massive, full colored illustrations, impactful scenes that punch you right in the face, and just crazy awesome moments all together. With all that said, drawing like Murata in his natural sketchy style will certainly be a gift to our own works of art. However, the question is, how does he do it? Is it the way he draws those big eyes? The way he uses angles, form and body posture? Or is it the pure intensity and energy in his line art that resonates with us the most? If we try to copy him, we can get pretty far, but let's not kid ourselves. That doesn't mean we understand him. So to challenge myself to get the grasp of his art style, I drew this Mega Man Zero art. Nonetheless, one attempt is not enough. So, for this deep dive video, I'm a ratified Majin Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z Hyper Dimension. Just to get me experienced enough to be able to share what I learned. However, because we want to get to the next level quickly in this artist breakdown video, I attach some Patara earrings on both Murata's Goku and my Majin Vegeta. To show you how to draw the one and only Muratified fan art of Frickin' Majin Vegito. Jokes aside, in almost all his heart, Yusuke Murata tends to use big eyes and small irises. Also, he prefers that the eyes are drawn as clean as possible, avoiding clutter, and while this definitely increases the in intensity, it also depends on what kind of expression he is going for. This aside, in all of them we can see that he likes to use curved, rounded shapes for the angles. One of the effects is that this pushes the eyes outwards, and will give you additional volume without making it too obvious. Furthermore, when he draws eyes, he likes to be very selective on the stress points. You know, the balance between the intensity of the black lines. This is to maintain the focus on the highlights and circumvent losing intensity, so it's best to use thick dark lines sporadically, and be deliberate on where you want the attention to be fixated on first. When we check out the brush, Murata is mainly a traditional artist who uses multiple sizes of ink pads. To simplify, for the face, he generally uses a medium sized ink brush. For the hair a fine liner, and the clothes a marker. Remember, this is not a rule of thumb by all means, but it gives you a gist of the brush sizes, and how some of his art has this three part dynamic. Actually this also creates energy, because he uses this asymmetric concept like a boss. For the beginners that never heard of this concept, it's basically creating a deliberate displacement in your image, and this is an effective art compositional technique that I explained already in my other art videos and my art guides. Also, when we look closer at the sketches, he tends to draw hair in one continuous stroke, being very deliberate with his short, quick lines in between. In this case, Dragon Ball Z is the best example to explain this. Akira Toriyama's hair is drawn by using short, sharp angled lines. Murata tends to flow through this whole hair chunk in one setting, adding a stroke or two in between. As a side note, both look great in their own right, and there is no correct way of doing this and shouldn't be put on a pedestal above another in any way or form. That said, because Goku has light hair in the Super Saiyan form, Murata fades out his lines, whereas in the base form he makes the hair thick and cluttered. Also in this case, he has many examples how to do this effectively in different hairstyles. The easiest way to replicate this line fading technique is with a soft eraser to decrease the intensity. In case for traditional artists, press either lightly with a pen, or even better, use a grey pencil first and draw with black ink on top. Anyways, overall, in his most natural form, Yusuke Murata likes to draw his line art fast and sketchy, quickly filling in the details and not concerning the mistakes that much. And although I'm not planning to quote Bob Ross on this one, but these happy mistakes add to the overall energy. Unless they are really bad. By the way, please don't be discouraged if you can't replicate this line style exactly like him. Remember, he's a master, and this experience in drawing is more than you and me combined. Another thing to his style, which I think is typical Murata, is that he tends to keep the faces of his characters tight and clean. Basically, hatching is reserved to everything around it, as he loves to fade his lines quite often to make your imagination fill in the rest. This ultimately adds to the three-dimensional perspective, where clothes, hair and gesture jumps off the page. By the way, have you noticed? He uses very light pressure to add in volume to make the dimensions even stronger. And he needs to, as an action illustrator, this man understands anatomy and proportions like a bomb and wants us to be right there in the battle. 
like all manga artists, would rather knows how to effectively draw in your gaze. In character portraits, it's mostly the eyes first, face second, and body next. And to show its importance, here's an intensity comparison if we wouldn't be delivered on this concept. See how easy it is to look at this original art compared to the overexposed version? This is what you want. Also, he tends to use subtle corners and angles. This makes his character's expressions show more liveliness and be more approachable overall. In my eyes, his biggest strength is that he knows how to put characters into the right frame. Their gestures and expressions are amazing. To elaborate on this, the way he draws Mega Man is like how we love to see this guy. The way he draws Goku is I dare to say it, maybe even cooler than Toriyama himself. Opinions aside, this is because he knows how to show the strengths of the characters. He can switch easily between styles and facial expressions. From comic relief to tough, thrilling scenes with heavy action. But they all are Murata. I don't know about you, but this sketch of Nappa and Vegeta is very powerful. And I'll ask you right off the bat, could you have come up with this scene? In my eyes, this is also his style, and this actually a thing that is a huge part of his personal talent. The main point I want to make is, cool composition shots like this, to make something intriguing and immersive, is not learnable. You, me and him, all have our own unique mental image of a scene. Give this blue bomber to different artists, and Mega Man's designs transforms into totally different gestures and expressions. If we look purely at the style of fundamentals, Murata uses universal concepts like a legend. However, the way he moves his hand, chooses how to express characters, and his deliberate way of placing lines, will of course always be unique to him and very hard to replicate. As a comparison, I draw like this, which also uses fast lines, but in a way different curvature and motion. And I'm glad that I have my own way of drawing, because it feels way more relaxing. Attempting to draw like him feels unnatural for me. And that's why I used Vegito's profile picture from Dragon Ball Z Hyperdimension as a reference image. You know, this awesome old classic on the SNES. Because that's the thing, we all want to draw our own art like a signature of our creativity and not that of someone else. Who knows, maybe you saw some key elements I missed. And can now go all you gummy light in the comments section. Anyways, my two cents are, just keep his fundamentals in mind. And see what you can implement into your own art style. So what about it? Do you want to Moratify your own art? I'm Light of Alter GP Fuchs, and Yusuke Kamarada is one of those masterful artists who has this fast, playful art style, who just knows how to make things look awesome, which I think is an innate talent that needs to be unlocked in each and every one of us. And you heard that right. It's not a learnable skill, but knowing how style works helps a ton.